Hello everybody, this is Dr. Carlo Oger, emergency physician and founder of DrER.TV. You all remember this video, this is a patient with massive fluid in the abdomen called ascites and the procedure that was drained close to 19 liters of fluids. A couple weeks later, he came back and we drained 20 liters of fluids, which is a massive paracentesis. This video went viral and had more than 15 million views. The follow-up video didn't have as many, but um, it's still obviously people were interested in the procedure and the um, improved outcome of this patient of having the fluid drained out. Why I'm posting this video again is to remind you of the procedure, what we drained, and you can see the fluid that was drained there looked like pretty much urine, a yellow clear fluid. And I want to take this opportunity to talk about what you would get if the fluid was not normal. This paracentesis or the procedure to drain the fluid was done for therapeutic purposes for the patient to feel better by draining the fluid out so that his abdomen wasn't as distended so he can breathe better. He doesn't have to carry around 20 liters of fluid in his abdomen, right? But sometimes we do the procedure for diagnostic purposes. We remove the fluid and send it to the lab for cultures and analysis because we presume there might be something wrong with that fluid. Not just that the fluid is there, but that the fluid might be infected or the uh, fluid might be a cancerous effusion or whatever. So in this particular case, we did not send the fluid out. We just drained all that fluid and you can see it's a dark uh, amber color. Uh, this is another uh, patient who had to drain and it was yellowish, so it's a different color, but it's still normal, it's still a clear fluid. And what I'm about to show you next is a patient seen, well, a couple of years ago now, that had the fluid very black and, 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 and dusky. And this patient had a perforated bowel, an opening of the bowel causing an infection in the abdomen. He ended up needing surgery to clean up and uh, make the patient better. The patient had a very poor outcome uh, because he was already perforated bowel with ascites. Now this is a patient I did just a couple weeks ago. He would drain it for therapeutic purposes, but as I drained it out, you can see the fluid is cloudy and it's pinkish and it should not look like that. And no, there's different degrees of that yellow, amber color, even greenish kind of color, but it shouldn't look red um, and definitely shouldn't look cloudy, it should look clear fluid. And you can see here how cloudy that fluid is. So this patient actually was admitted with IV antibiotics and treated for spontaneous bacterial peritonitis or an infection of the fluid that happens spontaneously because these patients are predisposed to infections. So not always when we drain the fluid is just to drain it, but sometimes to uh, decrease the amount of infection or to diagnose potential medical problems that might be going on with the patient. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it and uh, please share and comment below. Thank you. Bye-bye.